Hi, Tim, Fox Speed Shop here. Join me uh, this morning on a nice chilly winter's English day. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the engine out, we're gonna refit the cylinder heads, change the oil seals, and uh, have a little look at the clutch plate. Since the last video, we've finished the cylinder head. So we've uh, finished the work and polished the exhaust manifolds the exhaust ports on both sides, right the way up in there. We've enlarged the inlet side to 28 mil and uh, smoothed that in there. Again, not going mirror polished. And we've worked on the, uh, the inside of the ports there and cleaned up the combustion chamber. Remove some carbon deposits there, eliminate the potential for hot spots and pre-ignition. So what we'll do is we'll put the valves back in here, valve springs back on, and then we will start reassembling it. What's nice about removing this engine is that really, if you want to take the whole thing out with um, transaxle included, you've got four bolts. You've got two that are up underneath the car there that hold the gearbox in, and you have four, one, two, three, four, if I point the camera in the right place, down there, that hold the cross member in. You could, of course, remove the uh, the bolts here, but it's easy just to take the cross member out all in one go. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to leave the uh, transaxle in for the moment. So what I'll do is I'll split the bell housing here, remove the starter motor, remembering to disconnect the live at the battery so it'll short everything out and then we will put the engine on a transmission jack and lower it down okay so we've pre-loosened all the bolts now removed everything disconnected all of the wiring fingers crossed we'll see how many whoa whoa moments we have whilst something catches during the process of removal fingers crossed So, all off, nothing damaged, nothing banged into. Straight away we can identify one of our big banging noises. Um, somehow the cooling fan is exceptionally loose there. Clutch plate seems to have sheared a bolt on the pressure plate, which is probably not helping the engagement but we'll pull it off anyway, change the bushings and the clutch release fork as well, just because it's here and it's easy to do. Um, now we can look down the back of the engine, there doesn't seem to be any oil leaks from anywhere, particularly different from where I'd initially thought. Do you need to find out where that wood rough keys come from however? Just stick that down there so other than that it's going to be a case of replacing these seals and what we'll do is we'll basically silicon them into the head and then once it's dry we'll reinstall the head with them siliconed in there and then these should concertina down otherwise What's going to happen is when I install it, if I put these in at the bottom, first of all, we're going to end up potentially getting them compressed at a bit of a funky angle when the head goes on. But it certainly hasn't got any warmer out here. Um, we ran into a few issues. The uh, the fan 
turns out it actually spun on its shaft, locked itself into place, and I had to uh, slice it off with the cutoff wheel. So that's what's left of the original. Um, so a bit of a delay whilst I fitted a new one, new locking bolt. Still needs adjusting, uh, needs the offset moving back a little bit. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to torque down the heads. Now, according to the book, we go to 23.9 newton meters, 23.9 pound foot, rather I should say. Um, and we're going to do it in two stages, working from the inside out in a spiral to try and even the torque force down on the head to stop it from warping. Okay, so what we'll do is after about 20 minutes, half an hour of uh, getting that nice and warm and running, we'll pull the uh, rocker cover off and we'll re those bolts down as chances are they will have loosened up as the head gasket starts to compress down. Um, that's really where we'll leave it for this evening. Um, what you'll see next video is all of the finished tinware back on we'll reinstall the engine and we'll take it out for a little bit of a first test drive um, as usual if you are, are enjoying some of the stories that we're putting out you like the Fiat 500 you like looking at some of the uh, the custom shoebox stuff feel free to like feel free to subscribe and uh, drop us a message if there's any questions about any of the work that we're doing